Hello everyone, my name is Dorothy Chia and I talk about all things piano teaching and piano learning. Today I had something very interesting happen. I had two types of piano uh, students and both of them came back with their theory homework not completed. Now, student A did not do his homework. So when I opened the door after they rang the doorbell, he was very afraid to come in and he kept burrowing into his daddy's arms and the daddy practically had to push him in, okay? So I knew he was upset. I didn't know what was the reason for him being upset. So we got ready, took out our books, went to wash our hands, played the music on the piano, and then it is time for theory. And that's where I discovered that he didn't do his homework. Now, this kind of student is like, you know, when Jesus hung on the cross and he had two thieves, one on the right and one on the left. And there was one of the thief that said to Jesus, um, I know that I'm hanging on the cross because I did something wrong. But you, uh, you did nothing wrong and you're hanging on the cross. And Jesus said that on this day, you will be with me in heaven. Why? Because this thief was repentant. So likewise, this student was repentant even before he walked into piano lesson. So with this kind of student that knew that homework was not completed and repentant about it, and even though he didn't say anything, I knew it that uh, if given one more week, that homework will come back completed. So all I did was reassign the same homework and told him, come back next week and let's look at it. Now, then I have student B. Now, student B didn't do his homework first week, all right? So I just reassigned the homework and continued with a new topic. And second week, when I opened the book again, second week plus the first week, the homework was not done. Now, by this time, I think if you were the teacher, you would start cranking your head. Now, why is the student not doing his homework? And when I asked the student why he didn't do his homework, he kept quiet. And this was a teenager. So he was stubborn about it. He knew that he didn't do his homework. And it was almost like a challenge. Okay, so what are you going to do about it? Okay, so there's this defiance, this act of defiance and waiting to see you, the teacher, what are you going to do about it? In the past 30-year-old... Uh, 30 years ago, young teacher, I would have just screamed, okay? And I've learned not to do that anymore because that's not effective. So what I do now is I take photos of the homework and then that photo in front of the student and I would let him know. This photo of the homework that is not done, I'm going to send it to your mom, your parent, okay? And uh, my hope is that the parent would then get the son to do the homework before his next lesson. Because uh, your job is to teach. Your job is not to mummy over the kid. So let the parent do the mummying part, the parenting part, and you focus on your job of teaching. Okay, so as long as homework comes back not done, take a photo, send it to the parent and ask the parent, to do their job of parenting. So I hope this helps. Um, it's one way of tackling it. It is my way of tackling it. And do share how do you go about with students that come, homework, I'm done. Till the next week, bye-bye.